Our roads and bridges are falling apart. Civil engineers in America give our infrastructure a D. One of the problems is that we're not funding things properly. We currently take from the Highway Trust Fund, which is primarily user fees, and then supplement it from the General Fund. Currently, there's legislation that would restrict all of this funding to the Highway Trust Fund. What that would mean for Minnesota is $200 million less than current funding levels every year. We fund the Highway Trust Fund through an 18 cent per gallon gas tax. But that gas tax hasn't been raised since 1993, and it doesn't index for inflation, so it's lost purchasing power. A tripartisan report from the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace lays out a new transportation funding formula. Currently, oil prices fluctuate, but our gas taxes stay the same. Under this new proposal, we would put a 5% oil security fee on production and imports. Theoretically, this will allow us to raise more revenue without putting the full brunt of the costs on the consumers. Under our current system, when oil is $100 a barrel, our 18 cent gas tax will get us $34.8 billion in revenue. Under this new system with the oil security fee, we would get $63 billion in revenue. These chips represent the current tax that consumers pay at the pump. If the price of oil is low, we would generate less revenue from the fee, which would mean that we would have to add to the gas tax to keep our revenue up. When oil prices are mid-range, we would raise more revenue from the oil security fee, and we could keep gas taxes as they are now. When oil prices are high, we would get even more revenue from the oil security fee, but to decrease the effect on the consumers, we could lower the gas tax. This is a smart policy solution to our current funding problem, and it's a much better solution than restricting funding to the Highway Trust Fund, which would cost Minnesota thousands of jobs and important infrastructure projects.